couple of weeks ago, I did a full review video of this awesome, awesome unit. This is the Hot Tone Ampero 2 Stage, and I am loving using it. It is really flexible, very powerful, great sounds in there. And I had lots of great questions come in. One of the most interesting questions which came in was from Robert over on YouTube, who had asked whether it's possible to set this unit up with two amp blocks so that you could switch between amps within a serial effects chain. You can totally do that. In fact, you can do a whole lot more. I'm gonna show you today exactly how to do that. You're gonna love this. I've also put a link to the patch that I've created on here down in the description box. So if you wanna check it out, you can go and download it as well. And if you would like some more tips about how to get started with this, then I have a couple more videos which you might be interested in. The first one shows you how to set up a patch and scenes on the Ampero 2 stage. And the second one shows you how to get it set up for live so that one set of outputs goes to front of house and another output goes out without the impulse response or the cab simulator to a power amp and a speaker cab. So you might wanna check that out as well. The links are in the description box below. But right now, let's get this set up with two amps. And in fact, I'm gonna set it up with two amps and two cabs as well and switch between them with scenes. Let's get going. I had a really interesting question from Robert over on YouTube about whether or not you could add two amp blocks within the serial chain on the Ampero 2 stage. And you can do that. And actually you can do much more because you can actually set up two impulse response blocks as well. I'm gonna show you over on my Ampero right now. So um, if I go over to my Ampero, you'll see that I have named this patch JP Kitchen Sink. The reason I've done that is when I press this button here, you'll see I've literally thrown everything at this patch. <laughs> I have just one block which is available now. I can add something, but you know what? I didn't need to. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through the effects that I have in this chain and then show you how I've set up the scenes to actually switch amps and effects and cabs as well. So the impulse response changes depending on which amp that I'm using. All right, from the beginning, I first have an AI gate in block number one, then that's followed with a compressor. Then I have a drive pedal, which is switched off right now. It's just a green drive, basically a tube screamer. Then I have my first amp block and I chose the Tweed Prince, which is a Fender Tweed Princeton. Then the second amp block, which is switched off at the moment is a diesel VH4 channel three model. Then I have an EQ after that. Then I have my first impulse response block and I've coupled the Fender amp with a blue 212 open back cab, basically um, Alnico blue speakers. Um, so they sound different from the other speakers which I have, which are in the next block, which is a green 412 cab, basically a Marshall cab with greenbacks in it. And that's the Celestian impulse response that I'm using. In fact, I'm using the Celestian impulse response on the first cab block as well, which is the Alnico Blue as well. After that, I have a, a chorus pedal. And then after that, I have my delay, which is a ping pong delay in this case. And right at the end, I have a reverb. I just picked a large plate reverb for that. Now I have all of this set up in my scenes. And as I go through my scenes, the effects and the amps and the cabs will change. So in this first block, I actually just have the Fender amp with some delay, reverb, and the compressor on. So a nice basic clean sound with just some delay reverb and compression on there. When I go to scene number two, I turn on the chorus pedal as well. And I also upped the mix on the delay and the reverb. So this is gonna be a little bit more of a lush sound. <laughs> So 
a really cool sound there. So these first two amps, like I said, they're coupled with the first impulse response block, which is the Blue 212 open back cab. Now in scene number three, I actually switch over to the diesel VH4. And you probably saw there that the impulse response block changes as well. So I'll do that again. So when I go to number two, you'll see that the first impulse response block lights up with the first amplifier. When I go to scene number three, the second amp lights up and the second impulse response block lights up as well. This means I can tailor it so that the amp has the correct cab coupled with it so you get a nice authentic tone. I don't want to be using the Blue 212 cab with the diesel VH4. I don't think it'll sound that great. Maybe it will, but I like my greenback speakers with this amp. Now this first scene, scene number three on the overdrive amp, I've set up as a kind of crunch sound. A little bit of reverb delay on there as well, but I've backed off on the mix on the reverb and delay so that it's a little bit of a drier sound on there. Alrighty, the next patch that I'm gonna go to is a heavier rhythm sound. So this time what I've done is um, I've upped the gain on the amplifier. So in the amp block itself, you can actually make changes to the parameters. So you'll see that the gain is 48 on here. And if I go to patch number three, the gain goes all the way down to 10. So a lot more drive. Also on this patch number three, I have the compressor engaged. On patch number four, I don't. It's just straight guitar into amp and cab. A little bit more reverb and delay on there as well. Alrighty, number five, is going to be my lead sound. Nice. <laughs> You probably noticed there that the volume went up as well. I've programmed that into the scenes as well. So you'll see up here, there's a volume level on there. And I've put this volume level to 67. When I go to the other patches, they drop just by a little bit each time, basically so that I can set it up as a rhythm sound, a lead sound, a crunch sound, etc., etc. On this patch number five, or scene number five, I should say, I literally have as much as I can <laughs> switch on, switched on. So I have the gate on as well, because without the gate, there is some noise. <laughs> so I need that gate on in order to get rid of that noise. Then I have the compressor on as well this time, then the drive pedal, then it's going into the diesel VH4, and then the IR block, delay and reverb as well, levels I've adjusted as well. On these two um, switches here, six and seven, I've actually programmed in the chorus pedal into uh, number six and the delay into number seven. So whichever patch I'm in, I can switch those on and off. So I'm in the lead patch at the moment. If I don't want delay on the lead patch, I can actually switch it off with this pedal. And number six, I said, was the chorus. So if I want chorus on my lead sound, then I can switch that on as well. It's kind of cool how you can program all of that into this unit and have all of your sounds basically 
on the scenes and these five pedals plus some options with these two pedals as well. Now you can program the scenes and the switches to whichever effects you want. So let's say I want number six to be uh, on and off for my drive pedal, then I can go into the switches here and um, click onto the switch here. And instead of the mod, what I'm gonna do is change that over to the drive there. And you can actually assign multiples to it. So if I wanna switch on everything and switch off everything, I can, <laughs> but I don't wanna do that. I just wanna do the drive pedal right now. Um, so I'm gonna change it over to drive. Then when I go back this time, um, I can switch on and off the drive pedal. <laughs> Now turn off the modulation so you can hear it a little bit better. With the drive pedal. Doing what a tube screamer should, which is tightening up the tone and the sound so that the low end is filtered out a little bit and that mid is pushed out a little bit. So there you go, guys and girls. That's how to set up the unit so that you have two different amps, two different impulse responses, and switch between them and effects and all of that. It's really useful when you're playing live. If you'd like this patch, you can head over to the link which I've left in the description box below and download it as well and play around with it for yourselves as well and enjoy it. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed that. So there you go guys and girls, that's how you get this set up with two amps and cabs and the kitchen sink, literally. <laughs> like I said, if you like the patch which I created, then there is a link to download it in the description box below, which you can check out. And if you would like some more sounds, then I have a full pack which you can purchase from my web store as well. So you can check that out. If you haven't done so already, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when new videos are gonna be coming out. And I will see you really soon with another video. Have a great day, guys and girls. See you later. Bye.